Hi, I'm Debbie Jones. I'm a clinical scientist at the Center for Ocular Research and Education at the University of Waterloo. I'm also a clinical professor within the School of Optometry at the University of Waterloo School of Optometry and Vision Science. Sounds like a, a lot of roles there and I do have various roles within the school. One of the things I've been involved in is the five year, well actually six year now, clinical study on the MySight lens from CooperVision. We started the study way back when, it was a three year study, um, enrolling children aged eight to 12 and at our site in Waterloo we had, we ended up with just over 50 patients or 50 participants um, from the get-go. We followed those participants through to the end of the three-year data and then the study was continued on. Um, I've seen a lot of those participants myself so I have a lot of hands-on experience with the MySight lens um, and a few of the things I can share is first of all it's just a contact lens. It fits like a contact lens, it works like a contact lens so anybody wondering about getting into that myopia control um, platform and wondering whether MySight is something that they could take on in their practices um, just treat it like a contact lens, plain and simple. Patients wear it, they see clearly. Um, one of the things uh, a little further on in the trial where we actually switched patients from um, the control lens, which was a spherical lens, into a MySight lens, some of the children did notice the vision was a little bit different. But again, stick with it and usually the children adapt very quickly to that slightly different optics of the lens. In terms of visual performance, all of the children I've seen have been happy with their vision, comfort's been fine, um, and so from a patient perspective, it's just a contact lens. From a clinician's perspective, what we noticed and what the data shows us is that it truly does slow down the progression of myopia. So the initial three-year data that was um, presented a couple of years ago shows a consistent slowing down around about 59% um, treatment effect if you like and that's both in the refractive error and also on the axial length side so there is a good correlation so you know that actually the eye is not elongating as well as not changing in refractive error. Just this year we've had the five-year data presented for the very first time at the beginning of June and the treatment effect continues so not only do we see the progression of myopia um, slowing down in the first three years, but we see the amount of myopia change being pretty continuous across the next two years. Um, now, the five-year data, actually all of the participants changed into my site. So we're not comparing a control group, but we're looking at the profile of the two groups. And they were very, very well matched, so the control group in the first three years, their myopia progressed quite significantly. The treatment group, so the ones in the MySite, didn't progress as quickly. In the next two years of the study, so years four and five, the group that switched into MySite, their myopia slowed down significantly. Now as a practitioner, we all know that myopia slows down anyway as we get a little bit older, but I think the evidence shows us and we can certainly see from the results that the rate of change is even slower than we predict it to be in those older children. So take home messages from the data if you're not lucky enough to sit at a conference and see the research being presented is it's an easy lens to fit, the complications are minimal, no more than a regular contact lens and it really does seem to slow down the progression of myopia so it's certainly one of the options that you should be looking to use in your practices if you're getting into a myopia control type of modality with your patients.